What's up my budgeting friends and welcome to Vetted Budgets. So I'm checking in for week 3 in May. Like, where is time going? Like seriously, like it's about to be June and summer, all that good stuff. So yeah, I will be checking in from May 15th through May 21st. And let me tell you guys right now, we have been doing a little better we went grocery shopping twice this week um, we went yesterday to pick up some groceries as well for Sanders sisters little birthday dinner lunch thing so yeah we picked up a couple other things for us as well so yeah we've been doing good we have been eating out a little bit and he yeah, asked but Maybe fourth week of this month is even better. So we will see how that goes. Just wish us luck because y'all know it's hard out here. It is so hard out here. All right, so as you all know, I'm starting off with my Filofax wallet. I still haven't transitioned to my other one yet. It's coming, I promise you. One of these days, I will make that switch. I still have to make the envelopes, all that stuff. And I just have to find time, honestly. Alright, so we're going to get into this wallet. Alright, and I can already... We have tons of coins right here, but we will check that out later. Alright, so groceries. So, like I told you guys, we did our grocery shopping twice. So, we do, we should have some receipts in here and some change. And yeah, so here is where we went to twice. Um, yeah, so we got some stuff. Here. Oh yeah, this was for the 21st, which was yesterday, and we got all that stuff for the cookout. We spent $63, but Sandra gave me $30 back or something for because she's making her sister a cake. And yeah, she gave me some money back for that. I'm going to scan this in the Fetch app. Um, if you don't have it, check it out. You get free stuff for just scanning your receipts. So my code is down below. If you want to sign up, you get points. I get points. We're happy. So yeah. Um, and then we went to Walmart. This one was for the 19th. And we spent 60 Well, we spent $70 there. So, and this is my healthy grocery list right here i'm trying to be better trying to do some overnight oats all of that good stuff because i'm just trying to eat better trying to feel better i will be starting that gal one gallon water challenge in june so we'll see how that goes so i will be scanning these in the fetch app really quick once i'm done with this um this video so I do have coins here. Oh my god, y'all. I'm over here destroying my envelopes. Alright, so here are some coins. We're gonna put them to the side here. Now we're gonna count how much we have left to see if we can make it until the last day of the month, which that's when we get again. Alright, I don't know why the head took a lot longer than it should have, but we have it organized. So, for groceries, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, and 70. Eight. So we have $78 left in our grocery budget until May 
31st which we get paid again so we have about a week and a couple days for this money to get spent for some more groceries and I did see a five dollar here and y'all know I'm doing a five dollar challenge so this will be going into that five dollar challenge jar put it to the side all right, so now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so 1, 2, 3, 23. Now we have $73 in grocery money, which I feel like it will be okay. We just have to use everything that is in our fridge, pantry, all of that. All right, for pets, I think we should still have 150. I need to buy their heartworm medicine need to buy them treats and also I need to pay Sandra back for that one time she took the boys to the vet for their um, canine influenza shot it was like $60 a piece so I have to pay her back for that but maybe next time because as you saw here I only have $150 and the heartworm medicine is $100 for three months for both so this will probably be gone soon all right for takeout it should still be the same and i know it's a little shocker we did eat out i think one time since but decided to use the cushion that i have in my account i mean it's there for a reason and we only spent like what 30 something dollars not too too crazy but yeah i'm really kind of feeling some Asian food tonight like some pho oh my god I love that soup but yeah $60 in our takeout fund we did spend some stuff in beauty and <clears throat> health we have a receipt here we got some you know girl stuff and some toilet paper and y'all Sandra loves that good toilet paper we paid $17 for some toilet paper she doesn't like that soft not soft but very thin toilet paper even if we have a bidet but yeah we got some of that our total was 29 dollars so i'm gonna scan this in the fetch app and then i don't have a receipt here but sandra went to go get her hair cut and she's pretty expensive with that too uh, i think that was like 35 dollars but i gave her 32 because that's all i had in here so now what we have left is 20 and 30 dollars 20 30 dollars in beauty and health and fun i don't think we have spent anything yet so we got 40 dollars in fun and in miscellaneous we should still have 20 dollars in that I need to get a new envelope because this one broke on me. But my spending money. So I think I went to the fresh market and I grabbed a couple of things. Yeah, I did. I love fresh market. They have really good stuff there. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I got five dollars in my spending envelope until when until next friday the 28th of may y'all what am i gonna do with these five dollars <laughs> all right online payments i already put everything in there that i needed to and gas i have 20 dollars the gas situation up here in the east coast has gotten a little better so yeah it hasn't been crazy like it has been because lord these people are insane but yeah, I got $20 in my gas, which is good. Right. And I don't know about y'all, but I like having change. So, alright, so y'all know I like to separate the quarters. Because we do laundry downstairs in my apartment complex. Alright, that's a lot of quarters, y'all. 
but let's see. We have one dollar, two dollars, and three dollars. All right, and then the rest of this change will go into my little subway jar. I'm glad some of you guys like it. So there we go. And then the $5 will go in the $5 jar here. And it's something, nothing too crazy. Just a random jar. I just want to pull it out and show you guys. Look at all my fives. Should have a $5 challenge update coming up to see how much I have in here because I'm curious too. Alright guys, and then I have all my receipts here ready to get scanned on that Fetch app that I told you guys about. And yeah, that is all of our expenses. Now my wallet feels a lot lighter, a lot thinner, which is really great. And yeah, so... Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop at Vetted Budgets on Etsy where I sell cash envelopes. And follow me on Instagram at Vetted Budgets. I'm almost at 1,000 followers and I'm super, super excited about that. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. Help your girl out, get some more subscribers, more views. Still haven't gotten a YouTube paycheck, but it is in my future and I'm excited for it. Alright guys, happy budgeting, happy saving, and I will see you next time in another video. Bye guys.